Yo, time to open up the P.O. Box mail that I got in November. Uh, this is a little late, but uh, I was on vacation uh, visiting, visiting folks, so I'm back. Let's open up and see what we got. First off, here we have a postcard. Uh, I saw this painting at an exhibit in Japan, summer 2019. This ugly bastard is Lao Tzu of the Tao Te Ching. Now you look at him. <laughs> a. Jarrett Wheatley. And that's at the Cobus, T-H-E-K-O-B-U-S, I believe that's what that says. Uh, now you look at him. Now you look at this bastard. Thank you very much, uh, A. Jarrett. Here's a letter from Sam. Unfortunately, this was uh, totally ripped up in the mail. Um, they uh, just apologized to me. I don't know why this happened. Uh, it was completely torn apart. And uh, the thing that is mentioned in this letter is missing. Uh, the letter says, Hi Sung One, I enjoy your channel and wanted to send in a fan letter. Please enjoy this pen I used at work today. From Sam. Uh, unfortunately, Sam, the pen did not make the trip. Uh, I think at the post office they said maybe it was because there was a pen in an envelope and it didn't make it through like the slips or something like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, the pen did not come here, but I appreciate the sentiment anyway. Here's a letter from Mikhail from Alaska. Dear Sung One, do you play video games? If so, what kind of games and what systems do you play them on? I play a lot of video games. Uh, right now I'm playing a lot of Switch, so I'm playing Pokemon right now. I'm really enjoying it. Before that I was playing uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, is there any game that uh, you would like to see rebooted or remastered? Uh, Final Fantasy IX reboot would be cool. I love that game, so that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, at the time of writing this, I'm in the process of helping some of my family move out to another state. As always, love your vids. I'm also planning on sending you one of my old manga volumes for you to have and ch uh, check out from Mikhail. Thank you very much, Mikhail. I look forward to the manga, and uh, yeah, thanks for the letter. Here's a letter from Mrs. Roth uh, from Virginia. Dear Mr. Sungwon Show, we're learning how to write letters in our English class, and we had to write to a famous person, and I chose you. I chose you because you voice act as character in my recent game I've played called Borderlands 3. My favorite character is Flack, and in fact, I had recently started watching your videos. Thank you so much for taking the time to read my letter. Hope you get this and have a great day. Sincerely, Eric. Thank you very much, Eric. I'm glad uh, you're practicing your writing, and I'm glad you chose me. Uh, I appreciate it. It's an honor. And uh, keep up the good work in school and keep practicing that writing. Thanks. Uh, this is addressed to Press Buttons and Talk. It's my Let's Play channel. I have my with my friend Alex. Check it out in the description. Press Buttons and Talk. Hi, PB&T. After watching The Legend of Spyro, I was so offended at that, ob at that abomination that I bought you the Reignited Trilogy. I hope you enjoy it, and thanks always for the laughs. Love you guys. Izumi. Thank you very much, Izumi. Yeah, someone's, uh, we played, like, a Spyro reboot game, and it was, uh, it was something. Um, and so, uh, thank you very much, Izumi, for sending this in. I've never really played a legit Spyro game, uh, but I heard these were really good, and I'm looking forward to trying this out. So, thank you very much. Here's another package from Amazon. Hi, pb &T crew. Hope you enjoyed the game as much as you enjoyed the Wii Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. This is Tokyo 2020 Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games from Robert. Thank you, Robert. Uh, ooh. More, uh, you know, I did enjoy... The Mario and Sonic games, they were very goofy. Uh, this apparently has, like, surfing and, uh, oh, a story mode? Oh, boy. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to trying this out. These are always, like, really goofy and fun to play, so thank you very much. Here's a package. It just says, you guys should play this. You need at least three people, though. Uh, and it is Boss Battle Bunnies. Cool. Uh, I have not heard of this. Uh... Looks cool. Uh, thank you very much whoever sent this. Uh, if it was you, let me know so I can thank you. Uh, but yeah, Boss Battle Bunnies. Looks cute. Thank you very much. Here's a package from Mikhail. Oh, well, I didn't have to wait long for the manga because the manga is here. This is Claymore, which Mikhail said uh, they were going to send anyway. Uh, I, I actually, I think I, I watched this. I watched this a while ago, a long time ago, and I enjoyed it. Uh, I don't think I actually read, like, the whole manga. I think I read a few chapters. But cool, thank you very much. I actually, I remember enjoying this, uh, and I'll have to give it another reread. Uh, thank you so much, Mikhail. Here's a package from David from Toronto. Hi, Sung One. I hope this package finds you well. I really enjoy your videos. They often have me snorting out loud. Marvel Villains is my all-time favorite. This is a copy of my first published game. I really hope you enjoy it. The theme was inspired by my Dutch grandparents' love of gardens and gnomes. All the best with your videos from David. And it is a copy of... Gnomes at Midnight. Ooh, cool. 
um, by David Van Drunen. Uh, gnomes come alive at midnight, quickly, quickly forage for toadstools, bump rival gnomes away, or dance across the garden in formation. Hmm. Uh, I like the look of it. Uh, it's got like a nice, simple looking board and cards. Uh, I'll have to check this out. Thank you very much, David. Uh, congratulations on uh, publishing your first... Is this your... I don't know how many you have published. If this is only your, the, your first only one, or if you've done several. But regardless, pretty cool that you're publishing games, so... Thanks for this copy, appreciate it. And finally, a package from Michael from Kansas, it looks like. Hey, Sung Won, what you're holding in your hand or on your lap or wherever, uh, it's on my desk right now, is a new hobby of mine. It's a 3D printed amiibo. Ooh, okay, cool. Um, if you look at the bottom of it, you'll notice that there's a little white sticker. That sucker there is the amiibo chip of a Marth amiibo. And unless it froze in transit, it'll function as a Smash series Marth amiibo. Way cool, right, that is cool, it's a cool idea. The figure itself is actually Marth Trophy from Smash Bros. Brawl, and I think it looks way cool with the crystallish filament. In the tradition of Marth Amiibo, the sword is completely effed up, too. Uh, that's, that's pretty funny. If only it could look as perfect as me, Lysanderoth. Hopefully this will complement the Lucina Amiibo you showed in one of your videos way back when. I've always been a big fan of the Marcina Amiibo duo in Smash. In Smash 4, they were the highest placed characters on the, on the Amiibo Dojo tier list, but in Ultimate, only Lucina actually does all that well in tournaments. Oh well. I think that enemy got the point. I hope you enjoy Marth, Amiibo Doctor. Thank you very much, Amiibo Doctor. Yeah, that's cool. Of homemade Amiibo. That's a really neat idea. Uh, cool. Looks like now I have technically another Marth Amiibo. Just a, a little crystal one. Thank you very much. All right, that was this month's Theo Box. Thank you very much to all of you for sending in your uh, letters and gifts. They're always greatly appreciated, and it's great to hear from you guys. So uh, if you want to get sent in your own letters or some cool shit, my P.O. Box address is in the description below. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.